brand new Mazda 6 for the first time here in North America. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It's obviously all new, not only just sheet metal, but architecture. It incorporates all the Sky Active technologies that were incorporated, like on CX-5. Goes on sale January of next year as a 2014 model, uh, and we're really excited to be debuting it here in Los Angeles for the North American debut. And we've got bigger news for the CX-5, uh, literally bigger, 29 horsepower bigger. Uh, I guess you got some feedback and they wanted some more uh, guts in, the, uh, in that beautiful vehicle that's been selling very well. Well, the, the car's been selling extremely well. I mean, we've certainly been, in terms of demand, outstripping supply. It's always been our plan to add the 2.5 liter engine. The 2.0 liter is selling every one that we can right now. But obviously, we're expanding the relevance on it with the 2.5 liter engine. And as a result of it, we think we're just going to be able to offer the vehicle to more people and expand the relevance of it. So we're really excited about that. But the other great news, other than powertrain that we announced today, is the fact that we're going to be selling in the second half of next year, in the Mazda 6, the all-new Skyactiv diesel engine. The first Asian manufacturer to be selling a diesel engine in North America. And we're really excited about that. Do you have any prices yet, uh, either on the new Mazda 6 or the diesel version? No, we're working on price strategy and finalizing that. We should probably have something out in the next couple of weeks. So uh, as we get ready to launch toward the end of the year, calendar year, which is only a few short weeks away, maybe we can get that on people's shopping list for Christmas. And uh, early January, the cars will be in, uh, in dealerships. So. Yeah, I shot you an email uh, as far as my shopping list, and when are we going to see a diesel in a compact SUV like the CX-5? Uh, keep it on the list. We're working on it, Santa. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you look at the North American market, I think there are only two vehicles, both sedans, that sell for under 30000 that have a diesel. And, and uh, can you give me any of the uh, MPG on it and what you expect when uh, the Mazda 6 gets that engine? Well, I can't give any uh, MPG numbers as of right now because, you know, we're finalizing production and calibration and all that. And, but the one thing that's kind of interesting, when you look at the diesel engine market here in the United States, it's... It, it's growing so far in the U.S. 22, 23 percent versus the industry that's not nearly as high as that. And as you all know, diesel availability in the U.S. market is very, very limited uh, because there's only a couple of brands that offer it and they've got limited supply. So we think there's a very strong interest in diesels primarily with the enthusiasts who are, are obviously customers of our brand. So we're excited about it and as you all know, in terms of durability, quality, reliability and then using it as a racing engine before we put it in a production car is really good news. Both Volkswagens are under 30,000 that have the diesel, but you look at the MPGs, they're over 40 miles per gallon. Uh, diesel costs a little bit more, but I guess if you do the math, it's a good, good alternative. Well, when you take a look at, at the diesel engine market and you take a look at diesel to begin with, if you can get the fuel economy of a hybrid, but not necessarily have the price of the hybrid, the cost of entry, the cost of ownership for customers certainly is a better math equation for them. So that's why we think being the only Asian brand offering it within, within the U.S. is, is going to provide us a good competitive advantage, but more importantly, take care of our customers.